Welcome back. So right now we're not using type safety. That means that I can pretty much just come up with any variable that I want and put any information in here that I want. That's not what we want. We want to start using type safety and that means that we're going to have to create a model. We're going to have to create a new actual course class to define how it should look. So what I'm going to do is under app, I'm going to start out by making a new directory that's going to be called courses. Let me just zoom into that so you guys can see that folder. And there we go. So here we have courses and under that folder, I'm just going to make a new file from scratch. So it's going to be a new file here. I'm going to call it course.ts. That's just going to be the plain course file. And let's just add that to Git. That's fine. So now we have the course.ts file here. Now that's going to be something very similar. It's going to be an interface. So the course.ts file is just going to be like this. It's going to import, uh, export an interface of the type course. And in here, let's just start adding some information. Like I know I'm going to need an ID that's going to be a string, right? So that's the first thing I want to put in here, string. I also know that I'm going to have a title that's also going to be a string. And then I guess I also want a description that's also going to be a string. For now, we're going to add more as the course evolves. And let's say that uh, the title and the ID needs to be there, but it's okay not to have the description. So that's why I add this small question mark here, meaning that this guy is, um, you can decide if you want that when you create a course, right? So now we have a course interface that we are exporting. Now others can use that. So we're going back into our uh, TS file here, and we're going to add, instead of any, we're going to add course in here. And of course it wants me to import that statement, so it needs the import right here from courses. So now we have a course available and it starts complaining here because you're trying to add something to a course um, and it has a title, but it doesn't have an ID, right? So that's why now it starts being type safe. I can't put anything in here that I want. Now I have to actually start doing stuff. Let's just for now call this ID um, JS web apps like this. It could be a string because I want to save this to an actual um, Mongo database later, not an SQL database. So that's why I'm not using um, a number like you would in an SQL database. But now it actually starts telling me you cannot just put anything inside a course. A course has to have an ID, it has to have a title, you cannot put anything in there that you want to. So that's nice that we can get that defined now. So now we just have to update spec as well so that everything is running here. There we go. Save this and see that our tests are still running. Let me just zoom out, go and check the tests. So the tests are successful again, everything is still running. Again, look at how cool the tests are. I can just make sure my tests are still running even though I just made a change. So now we have a model available, now we can actually start defining what things should be actually and it's a course right here. So everything is running again and we just added our first model object or using the interface here. So now we are actually back in business and everything is still running. If we have a look here, we have our still have our P tags and everything looks fine. That's all for this lesson. Now you can see that a value of actually using the unit test. See you in the next lesson.